morning. Welcome back to another vlog. It's Monday morning and I am considerably tired. I don't know why. I went to bed at a reasonable time last night. It's cold, there's frost. And the plants are gonna be sent into overdrive because they're gonna be so confused because we had a warm spell. So some of the bulbs came through. I freaked out, daffodils in January. And now they're gonna be all frosty and cold and be like, why the, why the hell did we even bother? Plant talk in the morning, hey? Um, it's the beginning of a new week and I feel a little bit in limbo because my bathroom is st still being done. And when I've got people in the house doing work, I feel like I've got to be here for, for it. And um, just the way that my brain works is I'm like an all or nothing person. So if I was to go to this, my studio, for example, for a few hours today, I probably wouldn't get that much done. Whereas I prefer to go for full days if I want to be super, you know, on it. So my first week back in the new year has been, well, a couple of weeks, hasn't been as productive as possible as, as I'd like it to have been because I've been in this limbo of being here, making sure he's all right, like trying to get stuff done and plan my life. But you know what I realized this morning? I don't actually care because it is what it is. This is the situation that I'm in and it is what it is. So there's no point in feeling bad about not starting the year on this super like kick-ass productive high, yeah? I've just been like, I'll do what I can when I can, you know? I probably will go to the studio, even though I've said all that spiel later on, because um, I want to set up some backdrops, but we'll see how the day goes and if I can be bothered to do that, because I can do that any any day, really. Um, so I'm just going to work from home again today in my comfortables, in my comfies, and that's okay. Our dog, The dog shall be walked at some point today. Also, some drums will be played. Also, my boyfriend's not here working, so I have this, the studio is free. The garden, the jam kitchen. Isn't it funny? Like, for people that have been watching my channel for a long time, how when I moved into this house, that was my studio where I worked, where I did my photography and desk and stuff with my ex-husband. <laughs> and now, it is a music studio which my new partner uses to work from. Isn't that mad? How time change. And I'm a lot happier. <laughs> I'm a different person. Back then I was sunshine being shone through a sieve and now I am just the sunshine without the sieve. I hope that analogy made sense. <laughs> now I am just the sieve. <laughs> Oh, this coffee is so good. Though I'm out of milk, so that's also going to be on the list today. I think I might write the list. My focusing is still not at its best at the moment, so I keep forgetting what I need to do. Most of my time at the moment is being spent trying to get Sweet Honeydew stuff redesigned and ordered and all that sort of stuff. Learning new skills. When you're... I need to make a dentist appointment as well. I need to stop putting that off. Be an adult. Grow up. Helen, look after your teeth. <laughs> Breakfast today is porridge, blueberries, and fruit syrup. I got a little espresso. And then also, my Vitz meds and my apple cider gummy. Wash it all down. Some squash. <laughs> on the agenda today is buying a microwave for the office and I bought a matching kettle. We do have a kettle, but it's a really basic white one, which isn't that white. And so I thought I'll just buy a new one to match the microwave. And then I had some office paper. <laughs> Wonderful. Oh, and uh, got a fleece. Got to go to Wex now. Wex, Wex is a photography shop. They sell cameras and like photography supplies. It's a, it's like a big online shop, national big online UK store for photography, but their main warehouse and showroom is in Norwich. Whoa. So I'm going there to buy two, possibly three new backdrops for the studio. Definitely need to get white because the white colorama is gone, <laughs> non-existent. Well, it's hung up, but there's like nothing on it. I want to get a coral. Coral. Go on, because I'm all about coral. Fucking hell, man. And um, 
I didn't even indicate. He was half asleep. And maybe a blue. Or an orange. Orange or blue. Or orange. But I don't know, because my hair's orange, so it might be a bit much. But it might, we might look good for other stuff. I don't like going to Wex, because the people that work here scare me. <laughs> a successful trip to Wex consisted of a new monitor to go with the laptop. So I'll plug my laptop into this, and then it means I can work on a bigger screen. A lens cap for this camera, because I've been living on the edge for quite a while now. <laughs> Hello! Hello, no, 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 no. And then we have in here, in the studio, three coloramas. We've got a white, a blue, and a coral. Then from Asda, I've got this microwave and this kettle here. I'm home, and I'm putting together a Thai green curry, a slow cooker Thai green curry. I just found the recipe of BBC Good Food. I kind of just looked at it and was like, get the gist. So I'm sort of making it up as I go along, as also, because that's just how I roll. Looking at milk. I'm going to put you in a... Oh, nope, I'm not going to do that. Oh, it's very hard. Oh, shit. Come on, in again. Whoa! Whoa! Cool. Put two tablespoons of Thai green curry paste into this. Diane, how's about you leave me alone? Give it a good mix. Maybe I'll put it in a pan, actually. I might just heat this up a little bit, just melt it a bit. How many grams is this chicken? My reduced sauce. Here we go. I have to give that a good old stir. And I'll leave it on for ages. Oh, yeah, I've got aubergine in there. How many fries have we got in here? Two, three. OK, there's four. That's perfect. I'll put that in the freezer. We'll get a sharpie in, right? Four thighs. Four thighs. Oh. Oh, OK. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. Hi, Diane. <laughs> Every time. Go away, kiddo. Beatrix, kiddo. So um, I spent the rest of the afternoon just working on the sofa and I popped to the post office to drop off my orders. I made some boot camp promo vids for Kat just so they can use some reels for their Instagram. So I filmed a boot camp every day last week to get a bunch of footage. This one is the community one. I think one thing that's important about boot camp for me is the community feel, and I really wanted to illustrate that. Like, that's Tara and Lily's hands touching. They've been cute. So that's what I've been doing. <laughs> and um, oh, ordering supplies for the shop as well. I managed to sort all that out so I could see what I needed. All that da da da. Oh, what the flange saying? I just really want a hotel buffet breakfast. <laughs> Danny, I love a breakfast buffet. Yummy. Got my rice. Darling, dinner's ready. So dinner was ping -a -ling. Is that what the kids say? Ping, ping -a -ling, -a -ling, a ling I made the cup of tea. Gonna go get the Magnum. I thought I'd quickly just um, t t tell you a little story that <clears throat> apparently isn't cool, but I think it's really funny. It's funny for me, because it was a memory. Anyway, um, back back when Kill Bill first came out, I must, I, can't, I don't know, I'm older, must have been, must have been like, 15, 16, um, my sister would have been 20, 21. We reenacted and filmed on a shitty camera. I don't even know, it might have been even a phone camera, I'm not even sure. The final scene in Kill Bill, where she finally kills Bill, right? And my sister put ketchup on her face because she played Bill and I was Uma. And we did the whole. Time A taught you the five point bomb, hard exploding technique, that whole thing. And then my sister even did the walk and died. But I told my boyfriend that he didn't um, share the same enthusiasm. <laughs> you loser. I thought it was a great time. I just love this fleece. Asta. Asta. Great, isn't it? Pop of colour. I've also actually got my other zebra print 
or animal print lime green underneath. Just layering it. I think that's, that's pretty cool. I might wear this tomorrow. I think I'm probably going to wear this outfit tomorrow as well because I like it. Yeah. No! <gasps> it doesn't count! I haven't got my Apple Watch on. <laughs> no! A master! Yeah, yesterday. Jack bought it for me when we were in Asda. Right, ten of these, yeah? Oh my god. Ted pull ups. What? Oh, fuck it out, man. Shit. Whoa! Ten burpees. Whoa. Oh, my God. Fuck my life. Come out to the park. Uh, this afternoon just for a little dog walk to Eaton Park. This is normally a boat lake where people come and bring their electronic boats, remote control boats, but it's frozen over. Oh my God, that's cool. That's rock solid, that is. I wonder if I can smash it with my foot. <coughs> oh my God, cool. Wow, wow, cool. I want to punch it, that's hardcore. We watched Kill Bill last night, so I feel like, you know where they go like that? Ah, no, that's bad. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Did you have a good time at the park? Lila, did you have fun playing ball? Was that good? Was that sufficient and mount bald for you today? Diane, did you have fun barking at everyone and sniffing for food? It's good, wasn't it? I'm just waiting in the car. Whilst the whilst the man picks up spot cream for both of us, just just full of spots at the minute, and I've asked for some Rice Krispies because someone in the Ten Week Shred group chat said that if you mix Rice Krispies, some Rice Krispies, in with your protein pudding, your chocolate hazelnut protein pudding, it's like chocolate Rice Krispies. I'm gonna try it later. I'm gonna sit on my iPad drawing for the rest of the day. I'm just very, I'm very much looking forward to it. I need to have a little tidy up. House is a shit tip and it's driving me insane. It's, it's difficult at the minute because we've got the building materials, there's dust everywhere from where it's just, just come through the house. And then there's just stuff everywhere. And then I'm like, oh, I'm like what's the point of tidying up? But then the other part of me is like, oh, I hate it. So I might do a little tidy just so there's a bit of compromise, but yeah. The bathroom is nearly finished in terms of the actual building work and stuff. Hello? What'd you get? Oh, you got actual Rice Krispies. <gasps> you bought... Oh, McDonald's Diet Coke. Just gives us a week, though. Oh, God. There's nothing like a... There's a Coke from McDonald's, is there? You got the legit Rice Krispies, not the branded, non-branded one. I can't wait to try this. I love Rice Krispies. Here's my protein pudding. Rice Krispies. Why don't I put that in a bowl? Tea on the go as well. I like Rice Krispies. Uma Thurman is just beating herself out of a coffin in Kill Bill 2 right now, so I need to hurry up. Lily from the gym, you're a ledge. I tried your um, I tried your Rice Krispie idea yeah. last night. Yeah. I, so it was well. nice. What milk did you have? The the hazelnut yeah. chocolate protein pudding. Huh? Oh. Sainsbury's. I think it was. I, I bought it in ASDA. Yeah. But 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 I tell you what, the only downside of this was the fact that you knew it was a sugar-free yogurt because it tasted very. Oh. False sugary. Give it a little tingle in the mouth. It, it didn't have much flavour, but but then when I bought the Rice Krispies, I was eating that box. Oh yeah. When I first got them. Oh yeah. I'm just wondering if there's something else that could give it a little bit more. Is your shim? Yeah. Is your shim? I, I wasn't going to put a little bit of squeezy peanut butter on it, but oh. I don't know if that's just overkill. Yeah. Oh. Just I don't know. Because then I was like, oh, I want chocolate yeah. Rice Krispies, but that, yeah, that, that yogurt's nice. not quite chocolate enough. Um, chocolate protein shake. Yeah. And then put it on, and it's like a book. Oh, my God! Good idea. We're at 
the tip today getting rid of all the bathroom rubbish and rubble the bathroom work has been finished now it's time to decorate my new washing machine got delivered also this morning it's very cold all i want to do right now i have got no motivation to do anything today all i want to do is sit in a blanket and ha eat hot soup and cheese on toast that's what i want to do and watch a film like a disney movie you know something comforting and makes you feel warm inside moana or something because that's set in a hot climate therefore make me feel warm inside you right put my hand open put your hand open is it better <laughs> no no i need to wash my hands first. oh no next stop is b and q Good afternoon. It's been fairly productive today. Been working on designs for things like stickers and thank you cards, etc. But we've just been in today, just this afternoon, to pack some of the orders. I put on a sale last night and just posted about it on the on the gram. I wasn't expecting as many that many orders. So thank you if you place an order. That's excellent. But we've um, I've. I'm slowly morphing into my boyfriend in terms of style. <laughs> this is a very warm coat, to be fair. My outfit today is actually very interesting. Leopard print leggings, a Jefferson airplane purple t-shirt with a roll neck underneath because it's freezing. And then this bright yellow kappa puffy and my hat and my trainers and my glasses. Um, but yeah, I need it because it's bloody cold. You know, we finished and for we, we literally did a power hour in the office getting that all done, but I'm not gonna go finish working from home. But the bathroom, the, the building work is done. All the building, the tiling and stuff, the plumbing, everything's back to normal, but I can't do anything until tomorrow because all the sealant and all that has to set. So I can't start decorating until probably the weekend now. It's all right. So my big toes hurt, both of my big toes hurt. Good morning from Wales next to sea, my favorite dog walking stomping ground. So last night I stayed at my boyfriend's house out in the Norfolk countryside. And um, I'm here doing a walk with some friends. I'm just waiting for them to arrive. My friends, Tara and Lily from the gym. We were like, let's have a wholesome weekend. Oh, they're there. They're right here. So there's a real motley crew of dogs today. All the girls and then all the dogs. All right, come on, Dee. <laughs> Buddy the body. <laughs> oh my God, he's going to go get that boy, isn't he? Or that bob, bobbing bob. Look at that. Nah, he's like a swerve that I thought. <laughs> Mental. <laughs> and we are back in Wells. Her little Lolo Diddy. You've had a lovely walk, boy, and yeah. No, I'm surprised Lola's still going. Yeah, she's doing good. She's done very well for my, <laughs> my little grandma. My little grandma. Oh. They were cute, weren't they? Good. Yeah. Oh, I love it. It was um, it was Tara and Lily and Tara's friend Liv. Um, basically, Tara had said a few weeks back, like, She's doing dry January. She wants to start doing wholesome things at the weekend that don't involve going out and partying. She loves to party. It's not 
that isn't a uh, you know a secret from anyone she loves to party and she was like Helen teach me how to be wholesome so she, I was like well why don't we go for one of the beach walks that I do I love this beach walk so I only done it like literally like three weeks ago yeah about three weeks ago now same walk but it's it's really nice